Next up is race 23, the John Wade handicap hurdle over three miles, a 0 to 140. Number one is Hart has a wish for Molly at Surfer, two Lau Queen for Darren Howes, three C Devil for Graham Clutterbuck, and four Montoya for James Follis. Just four of them going here, which must be the smallest field of the hunt this year. So you've all got some money if you can all get over these hurdles. And already over the first of 13. And Hart has a wish, leads us, but doesn't want to. He's having his arms pulled out of his socket by this horse. And as we ride uh, live style from Hart has a wish, Montoya, Sea Devil, and Loud Queen. I don't know who John Wade is. Maybe uh, he's somebody famous somewhere. So it's Montoya, Hart has a wish, Sea Devil, and Loud Queen. These four. So, Follis, Clutterbuck, Mollets, and Howes. You're all in for some money here. You know, and I shouldn't think anyone could take this. Get to the second, and we're being led by Montoya. Luzi likes a nice tight course. But he leads by a couple. Uh, just watch them going around here. They get to the third. Not much to call here. We go up here. There's the crowd. Hurrah! Hurrah! They're going to go past the finishing post. It's, I would have thought uh, two circuits to go, but I might be wrong. There uh, is uh, only one. As they swing off out, I'll let you listen to the birds singing and the hooves chundering. Well, the season's already n nearly over. Let's see, uh, coming towards the end of day two here. Just a further day left. On the starters' orders, finals, the Paul Moores challenges, all tomorrow. And good luck with those. Anybody that's got a few in them. They get to the fourth, everybody's over that. Although, uh, I think Lau Queen stumped a little bit on it. Quite a good view here. Looks like we're going to ride on board Sea Devil. It goes to the fifth hurdle, gets over it. Sea Devil. Little Queen getting a little bit squashed there by a Sea Devil and Heart has a wish. We get to the six. Now we're riding on board Loud Queen. Looks like all three of them are going to take it together. They do. They'll land together. Now we're back the car cam and it's Montoya that leads us they go uphill here again my couple to Loud Queen and Sea Devil and Heart has a wish a few traffic cones I remember when I was a child we used to steal traffic cones I'm sure I'd we'll be owning up to that on YouTube they'd have to find me now a bit like uh, a murder where if they haven't got a body it's very hard to to find you guilty. So it's Montoya that leads us from Loud Queen. Sea Devil and Heart has a wish. Still got a mile and a quarter just under to run. They're through seven of the 13, so only six left to negotiate. Oh, there shouldn't be too much troubling running. But it's Montoya up front. Takes the eighth. Oh, a little dip there. One that uh, just took a pull was Loud Queen. Doesn't want to challenge Montoya. And yet, we've got a circuit to go. That's Montoya, Loud Queen, Heart as a Wish and Sea Devil. That's very great. Congratulations to uh, Joshua Sutherland for taking the National Hunt Championship for the second year running. Well done. And come back next season. Try and do three in a row. Be a nice hat trick. I'm not uh, achieving the double with the flat that's been taken by John Morgan this year. But it's Montoya that leads us inside seven furlongs now. To the ninth. Everybody skips over that. One has been pushed a little bit long for a pedal order is Sea Devil. Montoya takes a quick look round. Oh, and he went through the tenth there. Maybe he shouldn't have checked because uh, Lau Queen saw his mistake and gets within a length of him. 
but Montoya starts to push himself along now. We're inside five furlongs, so it's Montoya starting to pull away from Loud Queen. The weight's obviously in favour of Montoya over the 11th. We've only got two left to jump, and it's Sea Devil that seems to be making up best ground of all now. I'm going to come and challenge Montoya. And Sea Devil and Montoya, they're going to lead around this left turn. Sea Devil and Montoya, they're pulling away from Loud Queen and Heart as a wish. And carrying a little bit extra weight, I've got nothing left, so it's Sea Devil, Montoya, both under pressure now, with two and a half furlongs to go, they're going to make a race of this. So it's Sea Devil and Montoya, Sea Devil just pulling ahead by half a length now from Montoya as they approach the 12th, the penultimate. It's Sea Devil that looks like he's going to take it first, so Sea Devil for Montoya, Montoya gets away from it better, but Sea Devil and Montoya, they're both together now, neck and neck, a furlong and a half to run, it's Sea Devil from Montoya, running on heart, has a wish, but he's got a lot to do, but Sea Devil and Montoya as they hit the furlong pole, Sea Devil. Montoya, they're both under some pressure here, they both get over the 13th, they get over it together, down the little hill, and it's Sea Devil to Montoya, Sea Devil Montoya, is Montoya just going to get up here, but I think Sea Devil might just hang on Montoya, Sea Devil Montoya, ooh, strange angle, I think Montoya may well have taken that, they from the beginning deserve to have it, let's look at the replay, Sea Devil Montoya, ooh, giving it to Sea Devil on the card, that's certainly on a nostril, Bob. The most exciting thing of this race was the finish. And it's a dead heat. Sea Devil for Graham Clattermountain Montoya for James Bollis. Both get a win. Heart as a wish was third. Now Queen was fourth. Uh, so well done to you both.